Hello friends, I hope you're doing well. Today I wanted to sit down and film with products that I feel like nobody's talking about. Some new makeup that I feel like is just not getting hype really. I'm sure there's some products that I'm gonna talk about that someone has talked about, but I just mean like I've noticed on TikTok especially or here on YouTube, a lot of times it's the same like five products that everyone is using and really enjoying, which I don't think there's anything wrong with that, but I do feel like maybe we're missing out on some things that have launched recently or at least some things that are new to me that I just don't hear people talk about or that I'm interested to know more about. So we're gonna try a few things that I have been really, really wanting to test out. Some of those things include this Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Matte Tinted Moisturizer. I don't know if you know, but if you've watched my channel for a while, you know how much I love the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Original. I saw that they had a matte one. I actually bought this one myself. We've got some Jones Road Beauty. We've got a new Thrive Cosmetics Setting Spray. There's just things in here that like, I haven't heard reviews on it and I wanted to know for myself how they work. So we're gonna get into it. Um, MAC actually recently launched this Hyper Real skincare line type thing. I wanted to give this Hyper Real Serumizer a shot. It's a skin balancing hydration serum. And I'm assuming because it's from MAC that it's formulated probably to work well under makeup. So <laughs> that's what I'm hoping anyway. I'm just gonna apply this all over. I did do my skincare actually a while back. So hopefully this layers on top okay. <laughs> hmm, it does have a pretty heavy fragrance, which I don't love in my skincare. Yeah, mm, not a fan of fragrance in serums, but we'll see. Hopefully it doesn't break me out or anything. Also, I feel completely beside myself without my wedding ring on. <laughs> I normally put it on every day and I just barely laid my baby down for a nap and I forgot to put it on and came down here and I was like, oh no. And I just can't risk waking her up. So it's like, well, I feel so weird without it, but the show must go on. So here we are. All right, we're gonna try out this Complexion Rescue Natural Matte Tinted Moisturizer. I think it's interesting how it says it's a natural matte. Um, let's see what it says on the side. It's oil-free. It's supposed to instantly deliver a lasting velvety natural matte finish. It's infused with skin balancing ingredients. There's sheer to light coverage. It's for all skin types and you're supposed to shake well before applying. Okay, we will see. I got the shade Birch 1.5 because that's the shade that I use in the original. So I'm gonna give this a good shake. I feel like this might go everywhere. I'm gonna grab a tissue just in case. Sometimes when I order makeup in the mail, because Utah's in such like a high elevation, my product sometimes explodes. So we'll see how this goes. Hopefully not. Oh, nope, it's not exploding. Okay, good. Here's the packaging. So the original has more of a light packaging um, and this is just like an all matte black packaging, which I think is nice. Okay, so here's the shade on the back of my hand. It looks exactly like the original shade. I'm just gonna kind of warm it up on the back of my hand. I'm not really sure how much of this to use. So um, let's see, I normally apply everything with a brush and then a sponge. I don't really know what they recommend as far as application goes with this product, but I'm just gonna go in with my brush and just start to build up coverage. It'll be interesting to see if this differs that much from the original. I'm gonna pick up what's left on the back of my hand and just press it in with my sponge. Hmm. I feel like initially it blended out really nicely, but I'm not sure how I like how it's sitting on the skin. It, in some areas, it's looking like it's sitting more on top of the skin than what I'm used to with the Complexion Rescue formula. I know this is different, but the original really just like is seamless and it kind of has that gel base and more of a fresh finish. I can kind of see this sitting more on top of my skin. Now I did try that serumizer, so that's also a factor, but I do like the coverage and I don't feel like it's super matte, I don't know. Like I said though, skin prep really matters and that serumizer was more of like a glowy product. So maybe that's why I'm not seeing a very matte finish. Yeah, it's so interesting. Like some areas it looks really good. Other areas it just looks like it's sitting on top and like it dried down, but in a patchy way. Hmm. Okay, well, we're just gonna keep doing our makeup. So I'm gonna go in with some concealer just underneath the eyes. This is just my NARS concealer. Just gonna blend that out with my sponge. I'm gonna set that with a setting spray that I'm very familiar with so I can kind of see how these work together. This is my Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Baking Powder in Sugar Cookie. So I'm just setting the face with this. Okay, next I was sent this package in PR from Jones Road with their new bronzers. And they actually sent me a brush. I have been so excited to try these. Let's see, they sent me three shades. Dusty Rose, Light Tan, and Tan. I think Dusty Rose is the lightest shade, so I'm assuming that's gonna be what works best for me, but we will see. I thought it was interesting that this light shade kind of has more of a rosy undertone, at least by the name, it kind of looked like it. Here's the packaging, and then the actual bronzer itself has really cute packaging too. Oh wow, this is like almost a blush shade. 
Do you see that? Hopefully it's coming up on camera the way that it looks in person. Um, let me show you next to the shade Light Tan so you can kind of see a comparison. Now I have heard a few people talk about this, but I personally follow a lot of different creators. And so some of them are not as well known. And I feel like that's a lot of the people that have been like raving about this. Okay, yeah, do you see how much like more rosy this is versus this one? Interesting, okay. You know, I kind of do want to try it though because I feel like Bobbi Brown, who if you didn't know, this is her brand. She really knows tones and undertones since she's been a makeup artist for so many years. So let's try this dusty rose jade. Look at the bronzer brush, it's so cool. All right, we're gonna pick this up and just start warming up the skin with Dusty Rose. You know, I've never really used a shade quite like this. I'm kind of like pressing it into the skin. What I find interesting about this color is I feel like, honestly, like when you think of a bronzer, usually it's a product or a shade that tries to mimic what your skin would look like if it was in the sun. And this is making me look the color of what my skin turns when I'm in the sun, which is a little more sunburnt than bronze. So it's kind of interesting, but I'm just gonna keep layering this up, going across the nose for a little bit more of a sun-kissed look. That's so interesting. It literally looks like I'm sunburnt, <laughs> but in kind of a cute way. I'm also gonna mix in some of this light tan. So far I'm liking how buildable this is. Now that I'm seeing both of these colors mixed, I feel like next time, since this is like a first impressions, I would definitely go in with a color like this first and then layer in the more dusty rose shade or use that more of, of like a color situation across the face, just so I didn't overdo like that pinky undertone. I feel like it looks funny without the eyes being a little bit bronzed. So I'm throwing some of that same color into the crease of the eye just with the brush and into the eyebrows as well. I love to do that. But this is blending out really well I'm already a fan of this brush. I feel like the bronzers were also very pigmented, but super buildable. I feel like I built them up quite a bit so that we could get a good feel for the color. Very nice. I don't think I will need blush today, actually. I am gonna take my powder brush because I do this with every single look, no matter what. And I'm just gonna blend around the edges of that bronzer. Okay, I'm just gonna lightly fill in my brows with a little bit of my Milani brow pencil. But then I do have a tinted brow gel that I really wanted to try. I'm just gonna take the Jones Road bronzer. Let's do the light tan color first. Just pop that in the crease. Even though we already put bronzer on the eyes, I want a little bit more than also underneath the eyes. And then I'm gonna take Dusty Rose and throw that into the eye as well. I think this is actually really pretty around the eyes. Okay, now for eyeshadow, I decided we're gonna do the brow gel later because I just wanna make sure the rest of my look is kind of done. Nobody's talking about the new shades of Bodyography glitter pigments, which I think more people should be talking about. I love these so much. They actually sent me all four and we have the shade Illusion, Mood, like Illusion looks more gold, Mood is more of a purple. We've got a deeper kind of violet called Hue and then like a blue called Spectra. So, Hmm, I'm gonna open them and see which one I'm wanting to try. Ooh, okay, that purple is so pretty. That already answered my question. I'm just, I can't not try this. Look how gorgeous. Ooh, okay. So I'm gonna take this on my fingertip, just like this. And I'm gonna start to just press that onto the eyelid. Oh my goodness, yes. There's like purple, blue, and pink in this um, glitter pigment and it looks so gorgeous just lightly pressed across the eyelid. Oh, like that's not a scary purple, you know? It's a very wearable purple glitter. You can obviously use these as glitter toppers or on their own like I am right now. Okay, I love that color. I was gonna see if I could layer another one on top, but I just don't know if any will look good. I don't really wanna ruin what we have going on here. Ooh, Mood is like a cool reddish bronze. Ooh, and then here's Spectra. Really cool blue. Ooh, I'm excited to try the other three shades, but for now I really just, I can't mess up the look that we have with this purple. I love it too much. So I'm just gonna layer on more purple <laughs> instead of trying another color and layering that on. That is so pretty on its own. I love it. I really wanted to try a mascara from e.l.f., which I'm sure people have talked about. I've seen a couple of people, but I feel like all the hype has gone to the L'Oreal Telescopic Lift and no one's really hyping this one up as much. So I wanted to give it a go myself. It's the e.l.f. Lash and Roll. Um, I've heard that it's supposed to be a dupe for the Benefit Roller Lash. 
but I don't know. So we will see. I'm just gonna apply this to the top lashes. Well, actually top and bottom lashes. We'll do one eye first to see how they compare. It has a nice curved wand, which I like to kind of get into those hard to reach areas. Ooh, it's giving very, very separated lashes, which I know a lot of people like. I don't mind a little bit of a clump in my lash, <laughs> which might sound weird, but wow, it's really, really separating my lashes nicely. So if you're a fan of that, I think you would like this. Based off the application, obviously I need to wear it, but it's pretty. I feel like it would be a good everyday mascara, pending that it wears well. So here's what it looks like before and after, so you can see the difference. It's nothing crazy. It's just a nice little soft lash. What a simple but very pretty eye look. I love that purple bodyography glitter. So fun, okay. I know I kind of mentioned this in a previous video, but Anastasia Beverly Hills, recently launched new colors in their lip liners, which I love. I tried Muted Mauve, which I really enjoyed. I want to try a different one. So I'm gonna open the others. Ooh, this is pretty. This is Rosewood, how nice. And then they have one called Mocha, which is this, kind of like a warm, well, I don't really know how to describe that. That's like a pinky brown, really pretty. And then the last one is Caramel or Caramel, however you say it. Okay, this one's a much more warm, Caramely brown. I like that center one, mocha. Let's try it. I'm just gonna take off any foundation on the lips and then go in with mocha lip liner. That's pretty, it's definitely more peachy once applied to the lips, but I like it. I think I wanna add a little bit of rosewood, especially on like the outer corners of the lip. Okay. I recently got sent a package from Olivia Palermo Beauty, which I had never even heard of. Now, apparently this isn't a brand new brand. Well, it is newer considering it launched within like the last year or two. I don't know the exact launch day, but this is brand new to me. And I, I personally have never heard anybody talk about this. I'm sure somebody out there has, but I just have never heard of anyone say anything. So I wanted to try the Runway Rouge lipstick. First of all, the packaging, I really love the color of the unicarton. But then look at the packaging of the lipstick. Are you kidding? It's super, super heavy. They sent me a few shades. So obviously this red might be a little bit funny with this look. So I'll look through them and see which one I wanna wear. But like the packaging is actually insane. I don't know, it's so pretty. Imagine this displayed. I just, it's really cool. So I wanted to give it a whirl. Okay, if you're wondering, that shade is called Runway Rouge, which explains why it was red. This one is called Chianti? Ooh, that's like more of a purple. <gasps> that could be really pretty. Seriously, this is one of like the heaviest lipstick packaging I've ever felt. This one is Santa Fe, which is a really pretty kind of pinky nude. Ooh, that looks really nice actually. And then the last one they sent me is Rosebud. Ooh, Rosebud. I might need to try that one. So let's try Rosebud. <laughs> it's a really nice texture. It doesn't really say anything about it on the box. So that's that, but it's definitely more of a um, satin finish versus matte. It says it's a matte, but I don't feel like it's a very like velvety matte. Maybe it dries down a little, I'm not sure. That color is really pretty though, isn't it? I really like that. This is where we're gonna hop into a brand that I feel like I've seen a couple of people talk about. I saw Shelby Wilson, who I love following. We've been like internet friends for a while. I'll have her channel down below, but she posted on TikTok this Gen C Arch Support Brow Powder Gel. And I was like, I literally commented and I was like, I just got that in PR, I need to try it ASAP. So I found it and I was like, this is perfect to put in this video. So it's just a clean brow gel. This is in the shade Taupe, yes. So it's just one of those like tinted brow gels, which I don't usually use, but it looked so good on Shelby. I was like, okay, I'm gonna try it. So I'm just gonna throw this into the brow. A lot of people use tinted brow gel products to like fill and fluff the brows. I feel like I need, this is just my personal preference, but I do feel like I need um, my brows to be like filled in a little bit more. I really like the color of that. Okay. I do feel like that's a really nice formula. It definitely made my brows like it gives more of a brow powder finish, which I like. But again, I'm not like very pro with these types of products. I feel like that's maybe why I don't reach for them because I just, I don't feel like I'm very good at them. I don't know. Hmm. So that's that, there's the brow gel. I'll keep trying it, I don't know. I, again, I just don't really use these types of products often, but I know so many people do. So I wanted to give it a go. I can't tell if I did it well, but I do like how it feels. Like it kind of blurs 
underneath the brows, which I like. It's not very like sticky brow gel, if that makes sense. It's very powdery, which I think is cool. I wanted to try a gloss. I had a couple of options because Anastasia also launched some glosses, which I think I also mentioned. But then we also have a Gen C Clean Sheen lip gloss. So I'm gonna open them up and just see which one I kind of feel like wearing. <laughs> okay, so this one's just a clear gloss, which could be nice. Or let's see what these new Anastasia glosses look like. I actually think I did use the shade Goldie in a video, so I won't use that one. We have these three, which are really pretty. So Deep Taupe, I'm really excited about because that's my favorite lip liner color. Sun Baked is really pretty. And then Soft Pink is also really pretty. You know what? I'm like thinking out loud, but as I'm holding those up, I'm like, wait, I really like the color of this lip color. So I think what I will do is try the Gen C Clear Gloss. I hope I don't ruin the applicator too much, but I'm just gonna apply this on like the center of the lips. Wow, it definitely left my lips very, very glossy, which I like a lot, but it doesn't feel sticky. I'm just gonna wipe off the applicator so it doesn't like tint the product pink. <laughs> hmm, that actually feels really nice. All right, we are going to assess the situation and then we're gonna try out the Thrive Setting Spray. I do wanna take a little bit more of the Jones Road Dusty Rose Bronzer and kind of use that as a blush. It's actually a really pretty blush color, okay. I feel like we've got enough bronzer on today. Next, I wanted to try the Instant Makeup Fix Setting Spray from Thrive Cosmetics. This is an oil-free, lightweight setting spray. It's supposed to be smudge-proof, transfer-proof, and crease-proof. And it's supposed to keep your makeup in place for 16 hours. It has hyaluronic acid, caffeine, and ferulic acid. Great, sounds nice to me. Look how pretty. I really like the bottle. Okay, let's see how this mist is. Oh, wow. Oh, that's nice. Ooh. Okay, well, here we go. Let's set the face. I really like the spray on this. And I drench my face with setting spray, okay? It smells interesting. I don't think it's fragranced, but it has a smell to it. Can't really explain what it smells like really, but I don't know, I can't describe it. I'm just gonna press that into the face with my sponge. Okay, so here's the final look with all of those new products. Let's talk about them. So I feel like the MAC Serumizer, I like the texture and I feel like it contributed to this end result, which actually looks really nice once everything's on. Um, this fragrance though, for me, not my favorite, um, but I do like to have some serum type products in my beauty room for underneath makeup. If the fragrance doesn't bug me all day, sometimes I'll use the product. If it works well under makeup, I'll keep using it. Um, but based off my first impressions, I'm like, meh, you know. I think it's gonna have to wow me for me to justify using it because of how strong the fragrance was. Just kind of a bummer. I just don't like strong scents in my skincare or my primer products. Um, but who knows, maybe I'll love it, I don't know. But right now it's like, hmm, I don't know how I feel. The Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Natural Matte. And it actually, okay, so it actually does look more matte, which is interesting. I don't know in this moment though, if it's gonna be something that I'm gonna reach for over the original. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna just have to see how this wears throughout the day and see if it's actually that different. I mean, it is different, I can tell, but I don't feel like it's different in the sense that it's better than the original. So for me, as of now, I don't know if I'm gonna reach for this more than the other one, but I will leave a note in the description box letting you know if this kind of mattified my skin throughout the day. You also may know that for me, <laughs> with mattifying products, depending on the product, but most of the time, if something's meant to mattify my skin, it actually makes me more oily. So if that happens with this, I'm just gonna stick to my original. Um, it's interesting to me right now though. That's where I'm at. Like, I'm just curious about it. I can't tell you much more than that. I, I don't know if I love it that much, but I will say it looks a lot better once I did my entire face. For some reason, it kind of melted into the skin a little better than initially. We'll see about that one. The Jones Road bronzers, I feel like blended out so nicely. I feel like they definitely made me look very sun-kissed. I feel for me that it, the, um, the Dusty Rose shade, I feel like I will definitely use, like I said, on top of another bronzer versus on its own. But I also kind of love it across the center of the face to look a little bit more like sunburnt. So if you're into that, I think you would like this color. But for me, it just was too red for um, all over the face by itself for myself personally, in my personal taste. Um, but I really did like the other shade that I used, which was light tan. I'm excited about these, I really am. And the brush actually was really nice too. This right here, I felt like was a really nice bronzer brush. It's super soft. Anyway, 
I'm excited about those. I will definitely keep using them and I'm happy with how it made my complexion look. Bodyography, I just, I love. This is a formula that I am familiar with and I love this purple color. So 10 out of 10 for me on this eyeshadow. I'm really excited about it. Really happy with the lip liner and actually loving the rosebud color of the Olivia Palermo lipstick. I'm really excited about this. It's like the perfect cool toned pink for every day. I don't personally think it's matte. Like it says, I feel like it's more of a comfortable, like soft satin finish. So I'm not sure why they called it matte because I feel like it's not a matte lipstick. It's not velvety or, or moussey in any way, but love this color, love the packaging. Very excited about that. I feel like so far I'm really just giddy about the eyeshadow and this lip color out of everything. Um, but then also the gloss from Gen Z feels really nice. The e.l.f. mascara, I feel like, went on really nice, but I'll let you know if it smudges or flakes. For me, I like something like this maybe for every day, but I usually like something a little more, you know, volumizing. So I don't know if it's gonna be something I reach for all the time, um, especially not for more glamorous looks. I would have normally gone for a more volumizing mascara with this, but I liked how it went on. I liked the curvature of the wand, and I feel like a lot of people would like it for every day, especially because it really did a good job at separating each lash. Um, the Gen C brow product also, nice. Okay, it really, really sets the brows. That's also something that I feel like makes me not reach for these products is I don't feel like it has the hold that a clear brow gel does, but this one seems to be really, really locked in, which is nice. I'll keep trying it, I don't know. I definitely feel like I like the gloss a little bit more than that, but again, maybe it's because I just don't use these types of products as much, um, but I do really like how it looks and I like how it's really set my brows. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I really liked the end result of this makeup look, but I feel like there's some things that I'm just gonna be like, mm, okay, I'm gonna try this again. We'll see how it goes. For me, I feel, Based off my first impressions, the bronzer, eyeshadow, and then that lip color are what I'm really like, you know, just tickled about, you know? <laughs> the others I'm gonna have to kind of keep playing with and see what sticks in my routine, but I'm really happy that I was able to try some of these things that I feel like, you know, I haven't really seen many reviews on yet anyway. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this video. I will leave a note in the description box down below letting you know how the makeup wore overall tonight. Since I did try, oh wait, the setting spray. I mean, it really feels like maybe this is part of what mattified my skin, but my skin feels very set. Um, so I'll let you guys know how this all holds up. And I really liked the application. The smell of this was a little bit weird, but it's not lingering. I'm excited. I don't know, okay. Anyway, <laughs> I'll leave a note in the description box telling you guys how it all kind of came together at the end of the day. So, I had fun, I had fun trying everything. So yeah, check the description box for my thoughts at the end of the night. Since I did try a new primer, a new like foundation product, a setting spray, I'll just put my first impressions down there for you. What do you guys think? Have you tried any of these things? Have you heard good things about any of these things? I would love to know. I would especially love to know if you've tried this, because I know a lot of you guys are like me, you're Bare Minerals fans. I feel like Bare Minerals doesn't get talked about as much as it should maybe, in my opinion. Um, but let me know if you've given this a shot, how you feel about it, how it worked for you, or if it didn't work for you. I'm just curious, so let me know in the comments. If you're new here, I would love for you to join the family by hitting the subscribe button, and then after you subscribe, you can click on the notification bell and you get notified every single time I post a video. That's it from me today. I hope you guys have a great day wherever you are, and I will see you in my next video. Love you, bye.